Welcome to another one of our Bluebeam Me Up How To tutorials, brought to you by Brighter Graphics Limited, where we show you how to maximize the potential of your investment in Bluebeam Review. Brighter Graphics are the oldest established Bluebeam partner and your premium Bluebeam solutions provider. Let's get started. In this video, we are going to show you how to create and use spaces in Bluebeam Review. You can add spaces to add organization and differentiation for markups. Open the Spaces panel on the left. You may need to right-click and select Show, and then select Spaces. Click on Add Space, and you'll be able to drag out a rectangular region. Or pick individual points to define your space. As with other markups, you can use the Shift key to maintain straight lines and also convert lines to arcs. You can even add spaces within spaces, allowing you to get even more granular with your organization. When the shape is closed, you'll be prompted to name your space. Click OK, and the space is confirmed, and added to the Spaces panel. At the top of the Spaces panel, you can activate the option to highlight spaces in the document. You can also edit spaces by clicking on them in the Spaces panel. This will highlight the space and show the yellow transform handles when you click on the space, allowing you to edit the size and shape of that space. Right-click on a space within the Spaces panel and you will be presented with a few options. Snapshot creates a direct copy of the region the space occupies and keeps it connected as a space. You can paste this on another page and scale it up to make it easier to mark up while doing a punch walk, for example. The snapshotted space will have the same name as the original, and any markups added to either will apply to that shared space. Create Area Measurement will do just that. Using the default properties of the Area Measurement tool based on the scale set for the drawing. This can save you time by eliminating the duplicate effort of creating a separate area measurement of the space and make sure it is accurate to the space you have created. Next there are typical actions you might see for any markup like delete, and copy, and paste. But more importantly, below that, is the space properties. There are only three properties you can edit for a space. The name, the color of the space, and the opacity of the space. You can edit those here. Once you have your spaces set up, you can use them as a filter in the markups list, or in reports in order to be clear about where the markups you added are located. Thank you for watching. We hope you found the video useful. You can visit our website, www.brightergraphics.com, for more videos in the how-to series and all things Bluebeam Review. We at Brighter Graphics, welcome your feedback to help us to improve. 